This video will demonstrate how to generate a montmorillonite model at a specific cation exchange capacity, or CEC. Montmorillonite is a very soft mineral and is also known as clay. It can exist at various CEC states depending on the amount of substitution of magnesium for aluminum. The substitution leaves net negative charges, attracting cations to maintain charge neutrality. Nanomaterial Modeler supports either sodium or potassium for the cations. To make the model, we first select the nanomaterial type, clay minerals, and then choose montmorillonite. These sub-options are now shown. The default nanomaterial shape is box with this model. As described in the previous video demo for gold surface generation, the X, Y, and Z lengths defines the size of montmorillonite in angstroms. Let's put 50, 40, and 30 in X, Y, and Z for the length of each dimension. We can manage the CEC that is determined by the defect ratio here. Looking at this table, we have representative CEC values and corresponding X values, which determine the amount of magnesium and cations. Let's put 0.333 for X and choose potassium, which is the default ion option. The periodic options define the periodicity of the crystal model we are generating. Note that montmorillonite contains bonds between neighboring unit cells, and Charmgui Nanomaterial Modeler supports periodic options to make covalent bonds cross the periodic boundary conditions. By marking dimensions as periodic, you can generate an infinite system along the assigned axes. In this demo, we select X and Y PBC options to generate a montmorillonite slab and choose the solvated system type. Note that if we select all periodic dimensions, the system type is automatically changed to vacuum, which represents a bulk crystal. Click the Next Step button to proceed. We can check the generated structure by clicking View Structure. Nanomaterial Modeler provides two methods to adjust water box size. Specify water box size and fit water box size to material size. The first option specifies the system size manually. Note that we cannot modify the X and Y values because we chose to make these dimensions periodic in the previous step. The default values come from the nanomaterial size in step 1. To solvate the montmorillonite slab with a specific length of the water layer, for example 15 angstroms, for both the top and bottom side, adjust the Z value under the specify water box size section, or choose an edge distance value of 15 angstroms under the fit water box size to material size section. In the Add Ions section, you can add ions and select the ion placing method. In this demo, we solvate montmorillonite with a 0.15 molar sodium chloride solution by selecting NaCl in the drop-down menu. Note that you must recalculate the number of ions after making any change. After clicking the Calculate Number of Ions button, click the Next button to proceed. Now we can check the solvated system generated from the previous step by clicking View Structure. Note that the final system size may be slightly different from the initial values of 50, 40, and 30, since the system size is approximated by an integer multiple of the unit cell size. Click the Next button to proceed to the input generation step. In this step, select the simulation software you want to run your simulation. After checking the software, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Click the Next button in the bottom right to generate simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. You can check the files of all previous steps after decompressing the TGZ file and read a simulation example in the README file under each simulation software directory.